ArcJet helps developers secure their applications by making it easy to implement features like bot detection, attack protection, sign-up form spam prevention, and email validation, rather than delegating all of that to the network so your application has no idea when requests are blocked or why they're allowed, ArcJet integrates closer to your code. This means you can build more sophisticated protections using the signals provided by ArcJet. ArcJet has been architected around a few key principles. Proper security protections need the full context of the application, which is why security rules and protections should be located alongside the code they're protecting. Security rules should be easy to test. You should be able to run them in development and production. ArcJet should not interfere with the rest of the application. It should be easy to install, must not add significant latency to requests, and should not require changes to the application's architecture. We achieve these by delivering ArcJet as an SDK that you can install into your application like any other library. ArcJet rules are configured in code right next to where the protections are needed. As the rules are just code, you can bring in the right context, such as setting a rate limit quota based on what you know about a user session. This allows rules to react dynamically to every request, making it easy to apply changes in real time. The ArcJet SDK bundles a WebAssembly module, which is what allows us to perform local analysis at native speeds, all inside a secure sandbox. The same analysis runs locally in your development environment as when you deploy to production, so you can finally test your security logic before rolling out changes. All this is transparent, so you don't need to worry about running extra infrastructure or managing an agent. Let's run through an example to see how it works. A client from an OpenAI crawler makes an HTTP request to your application. It passes through the network-level DDoS protection provided by the cloud platform and then reaches your server. The ArcJet SDK is configured with a bot detection rule to block all requests except Google Search. The OpenAI client is following the rules and identifies itself as OpenAI, so we can detect this entirely locally and block the request within a few milliseconds. The result is reported back to ArcJet for your analytics dashboard. But let's say this is a bad bot pretending to be Google. In this case, a client from a bad bot pretending to be Google makes an HTTP request to your application. Again, it passes through the network level DDoS protection provided by the cloud platform and reaches your server. Again, the ArcJet SDK is configured with a bot detection rule to block all requests except Google Search. The request appears to be from Google from the local user and agent analysis, so it is passed to the ArcJet Cloud API for more detailed analysis. ArcJet verifies the client with Google, detects that it's not actually a legitimate Google client, and returns a deny decision. The result is reported to ArcJet for your analytics dashboard. And the request is denied, usually within 10 to 20 milliseconds. The decision is cached, so if the bot tries again, it will receive a deny decision in less than a millisecond. In both cases, you can set this up to analyze and block suspicious requests in minutes. However, as your application becomes more sophisticated, you have full access to incorporate the security signals into your code. Trigger two-factor auth if a user is logging in via a VPN. Flag an e-commerce order for review if it's detected as a bot. Or warn a user they made a typo with an unregistered email domain. This is a developer-first approach to security. Want to get started? Watch our other videos and visit docs.artjet.com for details.